<sighs> Good morning, BC. How is everybody? I am a bit loud. Hope everyone's doing well. I just like to do a quick video with a couple of things I've picked up in the past week or two. Um, yeah, here we go. I'm just finished watching. Uh, Big Star 1000's last video, Revolutions 8. Amazing stuff, really cool. I always feel so inspired to make videos after I watch your ones. Um, anyway, what's on the background is Tom Tom Club, Close to the Bone. Um, this is an original press on Island. So this is, uh, yes, it's a UK pressing. So, from my memory, this is the Tina Weymouth and is it Chris France? I could be wrong. From um, Talking Heads, this is their side project. Um, this is their second album, Close to the Bone. Um, kind of funky, Afro-y, sort of it's a bit poppy sort of music. Um, yeah, it's really cool. It's really solid. I don't have the first album, but I play this quite a lot. Um, Sort of tropical, look at that artwork, it's like tropical artwork done by a child. Um, yeah, obviously Pleasure of Love and The Man with the Four Way Hips are, are kind of biggish songs, but yeah, Tom Tom Club, Close to the Bone, 1983. In um, the sleeve there. Yeah, so that's what's done, that's not a new purchase, I've had that for quite a long time. Um, yeah, very cool. So this is what I picked up, would have been maybe less two weeks ago. Can soon over Babaluma. So this is the first record without um, Demo Damo Suzuki. Um, but yeah, it's still absolutely amazing. This is killer. This is um, very cool. This is um, an original pressing on United Artists, an uh, uh, original German press. So as you can probably, you might be able to see, but it's got this sort of the shiny reflective gloss cover, which um, yeah, the original pressures do have. So I was really happy to find this. Um, just show you the label. Anyway, uh, yeah, made in West Germany, so it's 1974, United Artists. Yeah, what can you say about Count? I've been obviously wanting the um, other records. I'm sort of waiting for, you know, the box set that came out a while ago. I'm hoping they're going to release them individually, but we'll see about that. Um, I'm sure they will eventually, but I'm just going to hold out for those. But yeah, to find an original press of this, I'm really happy with it, and it's been recommended to me by a few people, and yeah, amazing. Uh, I don't know, how do you describe Ken? To anyone that doesn't know Ken, you know, they're just, they're, it's just so much talent in there. Jazzy, crouchy, a bit funky. It's not really jazzy, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, Soon Over Babaluma. Great record. I, I really highly recommend it. There we go. I feel like my descriptions don't do these albums justice. You just gotta hear them. Um, Alright. Picked this next one up maybe last weekend. Um, I actually don't have any albums on the Black Saint labels. This is my first first record on that label there, so you can see it's the Black Saint icon in the corner. Hopefully the camera focuses. This is um, Don Pollen beat Sam Rivers. This is uh, Capricorn Rising. Um, just absolutely crazy free jazz. Um, an original press on the Black Saint label. I have here an Italian label. Um, yeah, I keep saying to myself, I don't need any more free jazz, but I keep I keep buying free jazz and I can't stop it. <laughs> but yeah, this is why Don Pullen as a piano player, if you know his style, he's just so heavy and chunky and blocky and he sort of just flies around the keyboard. Um, piano, I don't mind some keyboard. Probably because there's a lot of keyboards in this. Um, might turn that down. I have an eternal fear of the music being too loud and you can't hear what I'm saying. And I mumble quite a bit anyway, so yeah. Anyway, um 
yeah, this is just this is absolutely insane. Um, so obviously Sam Weber is, is on the tenor sax. I think he plays a couple of other instruments in here as well. Um, and piano. So yeah, Black Saint Records. I'll show you the the famous label, which always looks really cool. This is in great shape too. It looks like quite cheap from Licorice Pie Records. Um, here we go. Capricorn Rising. Yeah, just crazy, crazy free jazz. I mean, and I reckon this artwork is stunning too. Um, there we go. Black State number four. Amazing. Um, I might save that to the end. Um, okay. I actually bought this so long ago, and I forgot that I had it up to the other day when I was digging through and I found it. Um, this is uh, Nina Cherry and the Thing. So the album is called The Cherry Thing. Funny that. Um, released on Small Town Super Sound. I think it was a couple of years ago, maybe 2011, 2012. Um, so obviously Nina Cherry, her father was Don Cherry, who anyone that listens to jazz will, will know. Um, I think, so after, I think Don Cherry ended up moving to Sweden later on in his career, or midway through his career, and spent a lot of time in Stockholm. And the band that Nina is recording with are all Swedish, so she's obviously gone back to where he's from, which is created a sort of a free jazz, jazz soul record. Um, I think a couple of these tracks, in fact I'm pretty sure, they may all be covers. Well, there's definitely a few on here that are, uh, are covers, but they've done so well. Um, because there's a couple of the dad songs, it's like, yeah, Dream, Dream Baby Dream is obviously the uh, track by by Suicide. Um, what names do I recognise in here? Oh, Dirt, obviously, Iggy and the Stooges, or the Stooges, sorry. Um, the tech track by Martina Tockley Bird, who does quite a lot of vocals for Massive Attack. Um, what other names do I recognize? Du, du, du. Something, yeah. Anyway, sorry to be so vague. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is amazing. Just uh, absolutely, I'd say it's soul jazz. Um, yeah, very cool. Um, I, I love this. This is great. Really amazing playing too. So, obviously, yeah, the, the band that the plays with this is called The Thing from Sweden. I think they've had a couple of solo releases. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, Nina Cherry's a great vocalist, I mean, she's just released an album this year, um, just this, I think it's called Blank Project, and that's also really excellent. Um, oh, it doesn't really have the jazz vibe to it, it's got more of a trip-hoppy, sort of modern electro, it's like a minimal electro, electronic, whatever you call it, vibe to it, um, with like trip-hop elements. Um, if you see that, give, give it a go, it's really great. But anyway, yeah, this is the one before that, and I think she had a hit in the 90s with a song that I can't remember, Buffalo Stance or something. I vaguely remember it from when I was a child. Anyway, yeah, Nina Cherry, daughter of Don Cherry. Great record, the cherry thing. Um, okay, now we're getting to some really exciting stuff for me. Um, Gratian Monker 3. The third, some other stuff. So this is originally released on Blue Note. This is a um, reissue by Heavenly Sweetness, which I think probably came out last year. Um, so these these guys mastered them for from the analog tapes too. Um, French label Heavenly Sweetness. So they get get the Blue Note stuff that's probably harder to find or very expensive and and reissue them. So they've got some amazing stuff on the on the label. They've got a couple by this guy, you know, they've got about three or four Sam Rivers records, um, some obscure Donald Byrd and Dexter Gordon. What else? I can't remember. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff I'm eyeing up on. Oh, they've also got, they do um, a, a, a comp called Freedom Jazz France, which I think is quite popular in the VC. I've seen a lot of people post that. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, this is, yeah, I'll start again. Um, 
so yeah, obviously this is originally on Blue Note. The, um, the originals go for a couple hundred dollars, so happy to get the reissue. You can probably see on here the players. What a lineup. Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Cecil McBee, and Anthony Williams. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it's it's um, it starts off quite uh, sort of brooding and heavy and a bit avant jazzy, but um, anyway, for, in terms of blue note standards, this is quite progressive. Um, I think some of this just tracks a bit more boppy, but it's just yeah, I mean, amazing playing. Like what what got me was, I mean, I getting into the BYG label, I obviously heard a lot of this guy's stuff, and I knew that he did some work with um, Archie Shep. So that was later on in his career, he went a lot more free, um, did some work with Archie Shep, then he obviously released his couple of solo albums, uh, New Africa. What's the other one called? Has he got another one on that label? I think he's got a couple on the BYG label. Anyway, um, tracking back, this is his obvious work, where he came from. He has a couple of Blue Note albums. He's got this one, Evolution. And I saw who was on the, who was playing on it, Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Cecil McBee, and I thought, ah, oh, this has got to be great, so um, picked up this one, and I'm going to get the next one, Evolution. I just wanted to wait to see what the quality of the Heavenly Sweetness pressings were like, um, and I can say they sound fantastic. This has got like a really high gloss sleeve, um, it just, yeah, it feels really nice, and it's a, a beautiful package. The uh, Blue Note label is slightly darker than... A typical blue nut label, but it's on 180 gram, and uh, like I said before, from the Analog Masters, so it's, it sounds absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, Gracian Monker three, some other stuff. I'm trying to find the original year on here, but it hasn't got it. Yeah, I think it would have been maybe late 60s, probably mid to late 60s. I could be wrong. So yeah, um, yeah, the verdict is heavenly sweetness. Um, great reissue. He's very happy with them. Definitely will be getting a couple more, and they're pretty well priced too. Uh, okay, this is the last one I got. This is sort of a bit of a birthday, another birthday present from the other week. Half from my girlfriend, half from me. Um, this is a comp by a record label called Jazzman Records, and this is called uh, Spiritual Jazz Volume 4, Americans in Europe. So um, there's four in the series, this is the fourth. I don't have the other three, but this is the one that I fell in love with when I was listening through the compilations. Um, it's a three LP set. Um, yeah, basically chron chronicl uh, chronicling, no, I'll use a different word. Um, you know, I, Chronicling will do, that's fine. Um, the, the, the movement of American musicians, jazz musicians into Europe and their influences there. And, it, and um, yeah, there's a quite a lot of fame. This is a 3LP set, like I said, so I'll try and show you the inside. It's got a lot of really cool, lots of information in here about each artist and reading upside down. There's quite a few big names on here. Um, obviously, Sunrise, Albert Eiler. Frank Wright, Gratian Munker, Don Cherry, Lee Connitz, obviously Bobby Hutchison, who I've been getting into a lot lately, amazing, amazing player. Uh, Eric Dolphy, so there's quite a lot of those sort of free avant jazz artists on here. Um, it's got a really distinct European feel to it. Um, anyway, um, artwork by Jackson Pollock, which is. Um, I figure out if it folds this way or folds this way. I think it folds this way. Um, it's available to look at in the Canberra, the uh, uh, National Gallery of Canberra in Melbourne, uh, in Melbourne, in, in ACT, if anyone feels like going up there. Just a fun fact. Anyway, um, yeah, amazing. It's just, there's, there's so much information written in the notes talking about the influence of the Americans who come over into Europe, especially in, in the 50s and 60s. Um, creating that very own style of European jazz. Um, it's quite hard to describe it. It's probably very, a little bit more nuanced. Um, it's free jazz, but it's got a, a bit, bit more... It's a bit more delicate. I can't really describe it. A bit more delicate. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to move on.
Um, I've been wanting this one for a long time, so I'm really happy to get to get this. Um, yeah, so three LPs, really great pressings as well. I'm definitely going to be seeking out um, one, two, and three, which I think are more Afro-based jazz. Um, I'll show you the label there. Spiritual Jazz Volume Four. Um, yeah, I mean the highlights on here is a, a, a Don Cherry and the New Eternal Rhythm Orchestra, Hummus, really cool. Um, Lee Connitz is a five, four, and three. That's I don't really have much Lee Connitz. I know he's obviously plays like cool, cool, smooth, jazzy type stuff, but um, the track on here he played is killer. Called um, yeah, four, five, and whatever I said, three. Anyway, yeah, this is um, this is killer. Um, and that, that that's all I've got. There, but that's plenty enough to keep me going for a few weeks. Um, there's a record fair coming up June the 15th, so I'm going to try and hold out until then, but you never know. Oh, I've actually got a couple of records coming in the mail, but it doesn't count. So I'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all I've got for the moment. Um, thanks for watching.